today I want to talk about a little uh, feature that's in the um, ArcGIS REST pages that you could use. Um, and I got a uh, item here from my, my uh, ArcGIS Online account, this Rich Bars, which I've used before. And I'm just going to go ahead and open up the actual um, REST page documentation for this. Well, not documentation, but the REST page for the layer here. And you can find all kinds of information on here on the actual layer itself. You can find out the fields. You can find out if it's uh, are they polygons, are they points, uh, some extent information, uh, what the renderer looks like. And we've got this uh, link here to query. All right, so this is a great tool to use if you are going to be uh, testing out various queries against a layer. And you might use this if you're doing stuff in the JavaScript API or any of the SDKs, really. Um, and a lot of times you might want to test stuff out here if you're doing stuff um, in some sort of server-side uh, application where you're going to be making queries against the um, ArcGIS server or ArcGIS Online services and trying to pull some information out. So it's really kind of cool. Um, only issue uh, maybe you might have with it though is that it's unclear what these parameters match up to right so we have where here okay well, that's pretty simple we have object IDs okay so uh, I, that's actually gonna map to um, property called uh, lowercase o for object and then IDs uh, time input geometry geometry type and I mean they're kind of the names that are here kind of match up to the parameter names you would need to send in your REST request, uh, but it's a little unclear what to do. So what you can do is actually, what you want to do is go to the documentation uh, pages for ArcGIS for developers. And if you scroll down here, there's a listing for the ArcGIS REST APIs, and we're going to check out the feature services. So here's a feature service documentation in the REST API itself. But if we come down here to Query Feature Service Layer, right? Now remember, we're querying the actual layer and not just the whole feature service. We're querying one specific layer here. So it's got some uh, descriptions here you can read and information on versions of support in the server. It's got some notes in here, but we got the parameters. So this is the important bit. So if you save a REST parameter F, equals HTML, for example, you're going to end up getting uh, this page here. This is the HTML representation. If you say uh, F equals JSON, then you're going to want a JSON response back. And that's basically, we can even do it here in the URL. If I do uh, F equals, and I'll do uh, JSON. All right, so I, cannot, I have invalid parameters. I haven't sent anything, so that's fine. Uh, I know I haven't sent anything. But here's the HTML page representation again. So, okay, so what we can do through here is, okay, so we got F where, so let's try and match them up over here. So there's our where, obviously, and the format type is going to be JSON. Um, and ArcGIS Lionel supports returning GeoJSON. All right, so we have the where clause, object IDs. So there was the object IDs mapping to the object IDs here. Uh, you can also do uh, the geometry, right? So if you want to limit the query by a spatial area, you can pass in a geometry, which would need to be an extent, for example. Um, if you come over here, that's where this input geometry is going to come in over here. And this is where people kind of get tripped up. They're not sure how to add uh, the input geometry into this little box to test stuff out with. And they give a, a uh, some samples later on and how what these queries will look like and we'll be able to see that then we have geometry type n sr which is the input spatial reference spatial relationship uh, relationship params have to come back over here uh, input spatial uh, reference the spatial reference uh, spatial relationship which is typically going to be intersects um, you may want to play with this every now and then if you want to do something like uh, overlaps or contains it's pretty interesting to do with uh, relationship, result type, standard, uh, tile, or none. Um, if we come back to the uh, documentation over here, see if it tells me what that result type is supposed to be. And we don't have
have it here. Uh, result record count, return centroid, result type here. So this will tell you what the result type parameter is supposed to mean. Um, uh, you can read through this and get a good idea. None, standard, and tile. Um, okay, so that's pretty nice. And again, it's, it's all about mapping the documentation to these various uh, parameters here. They do kind of the names here match up with the parameter names. It's just it's not completely clear as to uh, how they would work out. Like uh, again, um, we've got the where is that? Uh, so we got the input spatial reference and we have output spatial reference, but the input and output are both going to be out and then capital S R uh, one word for the actual parameters themselves. And you kind of get a good idea when you're looking through this. So if we do one equals one, for example, here. And so what I'm saying here is that when I make my uh, my where statement, uh, the query here, I'm saying, give me back everything. So one equals one is true. So it's, it's like a SQL query where true, uh, just return everything essentially, right? So we're not limiting our query to any results. No input geometry. Uh, I do not care for this case about returning to geometry, so I'll set that to false. And let's just go ahead and do that query. And check the parameters. No field. Ah, I didn't request any fields. So, okay, so out fields. I can just put star here. That's fine. All right, so then we got all our results in here. So that's kind of stuff that we can do. So it's a pretty handy page that you can uh, toy with to test out queries on a particular service in the layer. And if you uh, want to write a query on your own outside of one of the APIs or SDKs, for example, uh, like I said, maybe doing um, something on the server side, work with stuff, uh, you want to reference the REST API here to find out what the parameter names are. They're going to match up to the descriptions over here. Um, and like I said, they, they do kind of match up with um, how the names are given here. Uh, just you know, lowercase, remove spaces, and uh, you should be able to figure out what's what when you go over here to the parameters to match everything up. And that's just a quick idea of how you can go ahead and use the query page to test out your services. Thanks. Thanks.